What's up? It's Jenny Banani here, J Tech, and of course, this is the first time you guys ever hear me say my YouTube name, um, as well as my Twitter and Instagram name, and that is because I was wondering, people are probably pronouncing Jenny Banani incorrectly, so I wanted to clarify for people who have been saying it wrong. So there you guys go. Um, I know on my channel it shows my full name. I am working on changing that to Jenny Benani as my official channel name but I do need over a hundred subscribers guys so please help me out I'd appreciate it anyways I have some announcements for you guys so this might be quite a long video just because I have announcements I have for you guys that I want you guys to be full aware of so yeah let's get started guys anyways um, one of the first announcements are just some changes in the descriptions down below that I want you guys to know about so that if you guys are totally ignoring them. Um, on my descriptions, I will be having a whole bunch of links of different things and one of them will be um, my jailbreak tutorial. The link for that video will always be on my videos um, that have to do with tweaks just because if it's someone new watching these videos, I want them to know, oh, this person has a job uh, link here. So just to make it easier or just, you know, anytime you guys need something about job breaking tutorial, that link will be down below so that you guys have easy access to it. Um, I will also always have a link of my previous videos. So on last week's videos, if you guys watched it, it was about the top 10 Vita fonts. I had a link to my previous video, which was actually the jailbreak tutorial. So I did have the, that link for it. So for this one, I will have my previous video link, which was the bite of fonts. And that's just so that if you guys missed it, you guys forgot to watch it, or you guys just didn't know I uploaded a new one. Um, that's just for you guys there. So there you guys go. Um, another link I will be having, and this is something I did on the previous video of last week. So this will always happen from here on and now. And that's I will always have the link of what where I get my music from. Obviously, I grab it from YouTube. But I want to help you guys out if you guys like my music, which is usually EDM music. But if you guys like it and you guys are like, where did she get it from? Which I usually always give credit to. But I decided to also make it easier by providing the link. And usually, I get it from Vital EDM. So that link will usually always be there because that's where I always get my music from. So that's just something new. Um, another thing I am going to do on this video and probably on every other videos is I have two YouTubers that I wanted to recommend. Um, that's where I get all my information from. I also get it from other YouTubers, but these two are probably the best um, in regards to Apple and new firmware information and new um, jailbreak stuff, you know, if they're going to take out a new iPhone, a new iPod, they give out really good information, and these two YouTubers are called Apple Tech Spot and I Crack Your Eye Device. I will have their link down below, so that if you guys want to go ahead and check them out, then that will be there for you guys. Um, one last thing, I believe, is, um, I'm not sure if you guys have noticed, I kind of got off track for a while, but um, I will be having a video uploaded on YouTube every Thursday, so expect a video every Thursday. If I'm not going to upload one, I will make sure that I tell you guys. I don't want you guys to be like, why didn't she upload one? She said every Thursday. So I will have one every Thursday. That is my scheduled um that's my schedule right now. Every Thursday up until I start school. So once I start school, my schedule will be changing, obviously. And I will let you guys know in the future, which will be in the end of August. So that will be, we still have a while to that. But I will let you guys know. And once winter starts, I'll be having a whole bunch more videos, winter break. And, you know, I'll be letting you guys know about these news. I just want, I just want you guys to be fully aware of these. I don't just want to be like 
doing all this stuff without you guys knowing, right? And letting you guys find out on your own. So yeah, those were just some announcements I wanted to let you guys know. So before I get started with this video, I want to go ahead and please ask you guys to please subscribe if you haven't already. Also, um, please give me a thumbs up, guys. And if you guys have any suggestions for me, please comment down below. That really helps me. Um, many recommendations you guys have for me or just you know if you guys want me to do some type of video you guys would like me to do please please comment down below that would be great or if you just have anything positive um negative comments i'm perfectly fine with because negative makes you better so that's awesome too guys um so yeah anyways today i'm gonna introduce to you guys five new tweaks i hope that you guys haven't heard of these so that it's super interesting but if you guys have then just watch along um anyways the first tweak i want to introduce to you guys is called savegram and that is why i am on instagram here because this tweak allows you to save pictures off of instagram usually you would have to screenshot because you can't save pictures off of instagram and with this tweak you can so as you guys see here i am on the sleeping with sirens page please check their music out guys they are great Anyway, so if I want to save a picture from them, I'll go ahead and save this one. Um, so you guys see these three buttons here on the right side. You would just click on it, and then this whole same thing would come up that usually comes up. But now you see a whole new banner here, um, and it's called Save. And you just save the image, and as you see here, it's showing that it's saving. So once it's saved, you will find this on your Photos app. And that picture will appear there. I definitely recommend getting it because, as you guys see, it is right here. And there you go. It's saved. And you can do this as much as you guys want on Instagram. I definitely recommend it. You can save as much pictures as you want as long as you follow the person. And I believe they have to follow you back. Um, just not for, you know, sleeping with science here. They're famous. So you can save all their pictures. But for the most part, you can save about anyone's picture. So that's Savegram, guys. Next tweak is called Prison Board, which is actually one of my favorite tweaks. Um, it's very similar to Adaptive Keyboard. So if you guys have watched my video about that one, then you guys will know what I'm talking about. So Adaptive Keyboard, I'm going to remind you guys, um, it would color your keyboard on depending on the color of your icons here. So let's say, um, as you see, iMessage was green. Your keyboard would be green. So um, prison board is very similar, so let me go ahead and show you guys. So as you, I um, this I took off the adaptive keyboard for iMessage, so, just so that you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. So prison board, as you see here, I have my keyboard. Every time I press on a letter or a number, a color will come out. So as you see, I am typing letters, and every time I press on a new letter, a color comes out. So let me erase that. So as you see, I pressed H in like a brownish color, and now I pressed it again, and now it's, I believe that's like a greenish or turquoise. Um, and that uh, the color changes every time. So I think that's just really great. It's creative, and I like to combine it with adaptive keyboard. So let me take you guys to notes so that you guys see what I'm talking about, because I didn't take off adaptive keyboard here. So let's wait for this to open. All right, so here my keyboard is like a light brownish um, and that's because my notes icon here the app it's brown it's supposed to match the icon so my keyboards brown and this is adaptive keyboard now with prison board these two tweaks work together which is great it doesn't crash and it just gives it a whole new look you know your color your keyboard is a color and every time you type you get a new color popping up here as you guys see so that's prison board guys i really like this one it's one of my favorite tweaks and i hope that you guys like it too anyways moving on to the next week it's called x key which has to do with the keyboard as well what this tweak enables you to do is to add a whole new row to the top you know and just add new things onto it. Now I use my row um, for the numbers and that's just because I don't like to be typing and then pressing this and then using the numbers. While X key helps you to make the whole experience easier, while I'm typing I have my whole new row of numbers just right there and it just makes it really easy to access 
you can switch this in settings if you don't want numbers you want something else up here at the top then you can definitely change it i just like it as numbers because it makes it better when you do get this tweak from the city store these numbers will already be there but you can change it off of set on settings that's basically it um our next tweak is called Subtolock, which is once again one of my favorite tweaks as well. This one you do find in settings. I believe X, X keys on settings too, but um, Savegram and Prison Board, those aren't, they don't appear on settings because those automatically are installed once you download them off of Cydia. But X key, as you see, it's here and you can do whatever you want. All the settings are here. I'm not going to show you guys just because it's really simple. Once you guys get it, you'll get the hang of it. Um, so anyways, uh, subtle lock here changes the look on your lock screen, obviously. And you have to enable. And in order for the changes to appear, you have to respring. On some things you don't, but I recommend just in case you do, just respring. So here on the clock settings, you get to choose the style. If you want the clock settings the font color and the font style and how big you want the font size and then you would respring however you like now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how mine looks on my lock screen alright guys so as you guys see my lock screen looks different than how it would it, how it would look if I didn't have sub to lock and I apologize for this turning off so quick um, my date here is on to the side and I have a different color as well as my time so like i said you would enable this in settings so if i go to settings real quick so i can show you guys uh where is it where is it up to lock um so i could have my clock seconds on for example and if i want to change colors let's go ahead and get a uh, silver color and you don't have to respring to change the font color which is pretty awesome so if I want to go ahead and turn it back on, as you see, uh, the seconds are here, but because how I made the font size bigger than usual, it didn't show the seconds. Um, let me go ahead and change the font color to maroon. And so as you see here, it's on maroon, and the seconds are going on as you see so if I want to turn off the seconds or just anything if I want to change the clock style um, you do all that some things does require you to respring like I said before but some things like the font color and the clock size and the date size that you don't have to respring but that's up to lock it just customizes your lock screen which is pretty great it makes it look more clean and it makes your lock screen picture show without the time and date blocking it like it usually does so i think it's really great it's creative and that's why i like sub to lock so go ahead and grab that from the city store all right so my last tweak for today is called status volume 2 now on some past videos i did um i did introduce you guys similar tweaks that had to do with the st status of the volume and the first one I believe had I had introduced you guys was called volume banners and it was great don't get me wrong but I wasn't a fan of it because I then found status HUD 2 which I introduced to you guys on another video and I found this one which is called status volume 2 so um, I will be giving you guys updates on new tweaks that are the same but are better you guys just in case you guys like them even better as well so this is status volume 2 and let me go ahead and show you how the volume now looks and that is why I like it it goes away super fast you enable this in settings it has its own thing here so the theming option you can use squares if you want um, you can invert the color and I have that on there the animation how long you want it in the speed and all that stuff, as you see, mine goes away super fast because I don't like it that it stays there for so long. So mine goes away super fast. And this is just, you know, up to you. But that's basically what status volume 2 is. I believe, in my opinion, it's better than volume banners and status HUD 2. But that's just me. Um, so yeah, get all this off of the city store. 
I will have all the sources and the price down below. Um, all these should be free, but I will double check for you guys, and I will have all the sources down below for you guys. So also be aware that that will always be listed on my description, the five tweaks and the sources plus the price, just for your guys' convenience. All right, guys, so that is up for today. That is it for today, I meant to say. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys liked it, please give me a thumbs up, and please subscribe if you haven't already. All right, I'll see you guys next Thursday.